Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. I want to take a quick second and thank all the channel members, thank you all so much, and I want to thank anybody that's come in to check out the knife, the EDC content, um, I appreciate you, I'm glad you're here, I really hope you enjoyed the content, if so, and you're so inclined, if you hit that subscribe button, and the bell notification icon, it'll really help me out. Done with that. So today, I'm going to give you my thoughts, my review, my overview of this TRM Bulldog, which is the latest release from TRM. I think it's dropping September 30th. They sent this to me to check out. Um, this is the second knife that TRM has sent me to review, um, and I absolutely appreciate that. But just in truthfulness, every single knife that TRM makes, I have at some point purchased and brought into my collection because I'm a huge fan of what they do. They are, by what I like in knives, my favorite USA manufacturer. So I've tried to find some negatives, and I'll talk about what some will perceive as the negative. I don't necessarily see it as a negative, and that's going to be the snap because it's a river lock or bar lock. But this is the TRM Bulldog. I started out with just a slow roll there. It is, this particular version is G10, which looks and feels very much like micarta, but it's said to me that it's G10. You've got this uh, nice backspacer. You've got these really nice caged liners that look like, I don't know what that would even be made out of, maybe titanium. Um, as you guys may or may not know, TRM, before they started Three Rivers Manufacturing, they were Hal Halberton, or Halpern, Halpern Titanium, I think. They supplied pieces and parts and things that knife makers were looking for, right, that they couldn't get anywhere else. USA sourced, and that's how they eventually got into what they do now. So I have no question that they machine probably most everything that goes into this knife, which when you look at, let's compare this to my Benchmade, when you look at this river lock enclosure compared to my axis lock enclosure, it's about double the thickness. Haven't taken it apart. Don't plan to because um, it doesn't need it. Um, it is on washers, I believe, um, but just an absolutely comfortable knife. It has not left my pocket in about a week. Um, when you look at a axis lock versus, say, the TRM Neutron, a liner lock, um, you've got that natural detent in the liner so it gives you that snap. When you're working with any style bar lock, axis lock, you are pushing against that bar that's on a spring, this allowing that detent to even exist. And it's not really detent as much as it is anti-resistance. So for me to middle finger flick this knife, it was just simply determining where my finger needed to be placed and where I needed to exert pressure. So for me, it's just straight up and I deploy it with no problem. It doesn't have the frame lock, liner lock snap, but I don't expect that out of like my shadow, my TRM shadow, which is a fantastic lock, fantastic knife uses the same river lock, but it's limited by those same, what would you call it? Uh, what's the physics? So physics, it's governed by physics, guys. It's all physics. It's all physics, which I don't understand. But I've had this knife in my pocket since it came in, and for an EDC knife, for a dude of my size, I think this knife is not only excellent, it is... Uh, unique in a couple of different ways. First for TRM, and I think really, really cool changes. Now one thing that I love about the way that they did this blade hole is it is very grippy. So I'm not a thumb flicker guy, but I can thumb flick this knife open very easily because these edges aren't rounded. They're very crisp. They catch my finger very well. 
so I can open it, but it's also very, very pleasurable to slow roll it open. Um, and the great thing about the river lock, this is also in my shadow, it is one of those, the resistance is tuned to me so perfectly that it pulls the blade back in without bounce, without leaving it hanging out there. Um, it's just feels like a very refined uh, locking mechanism. You've got a titanium clip. You've got this MagnaCut blade, which I will tell you guys, I did not know this till I read about it. This is the thickest blade stock that TRM has used in a TRM folder. And we'll get some measurements in a little while, but that is the Neutron. And you can see that our Bulldog, being the Bulldog that it is, is about twice as thick. So it's a much more robust blade stock. Look at it next to the shadow, and again, it's thicker. What you, where you don't see that thickness, or you don't notice that thickness, it is a tall, not as tall as on the shadow, but as tall as on the neutron, flat grind. And guys, it is an absolute therapeutic slicing laser beam. I've been cutting all kinds of my whittling stick. I've been cutting um, cardboard. You've got a couple of little, you can feel where before when I did the unboxing it would pull straight through. I've got a couple of little spots there that, you know, could be stropped out I'm sure. I've not put it on a strop. But thicker blade stock does not hamper the sliceability at all. And this tip is a splinter digger, very, very pokey, very nice. I like the look of the blade. I was trying to, I did a video a couple of days ago that was all my TRM knives, and I don't think I have them all here, but I was curious, because I've always thought of the Nerd, the smallest, and the only other that has a blade hole now, it has a different blade shape, but you'll notice that you've got rounding, which is fine, on that blade hole. This is much crisper, and again, much, much thicker. So, you're gonna have a more stable platform. You're gonna have a harder use knife. Now, it is not a large knife. I would call this a medium, a small to medium or medium sized knife. For me, who has a medium to large size hand, this knife is about as close to perfect ergonomically as it can be. Um, I've got this forward finger choil, which my hand lays in absolutely perfectly. Second finger goes right over that little swell. I don't have any jimping, but I don't need it and I can make cuts all day long. Let's see if I've got any cardboard. I know I've got some somewhere. Let's do this. So when I was breaking down boxes earlier and cutting on my whittling stick, I'll show you the notch I cut it in, not that it really matters. I did not get any hand fatigue. I don't feel the clip in my hand at all. It is just an absolute comfortable, comfortable package. I've got to replace my mat, guys. My be up mat, seen better days. It's getting all cut up. I've got another be up mat, but we'll have to see. Um, but so for me, this knife fits perfectly. You've also got this rear grip, which I can't imagine holding the knife back here. Um, it just seems to me that the knife was designed to be held just like this. We'll get some dimensions in a second. For some of you bigger handed guys, it may be that this knife doesn't fit your, your need because it is gonna be, for example, I've got both the Neutron and the Axon. I love both of these knives. So the Bulldog 
is coming in right about the same size as the TRM Neutron. It may be a 32nd or a 16th difference. And then if you look at it next to the Atom, which my big-handed buddy A to Z seems to like better, it's a good bit smaller, right? If we look at it against some knives that are not TRMs, like our Benchmade Bug Out, it's going to be about a quarter inch smaller than our Bug Out if we were going to then pair that with our Bug Out Mini we will see that it kind of splits that difference, right? A little bit smaller than the bug out, about the same size, larger than the, uh, the mini bug out. And then the shadow, which is my only other river lock or the only other river lock in my collection. I do not have the titanium. You'll see that it is about an inch to a half inch larger. So it kind of fits a nice, nice void there, so to speak. But my thoughts on this knife are, it is an absolute wonderful, wonderful knife. There is no side to side, no up and down. Um, I like the fact that TRM is switching over using some MagnaCut. I'm a big fan of 20CV. They could have continued to use it, but it looks like the market likes MagnaCut, and I know TRM does it very, very well. Um, the G10 on these scales, to me, is nicer than the G10 on Spyderco, which is currently my favorite uh, G10. Even if you look inside, let me get this. You'll see that you've got this thin inset liner, but you can see the texturing of that G10, just the quality of the G10. Um, I'm very impressed with it. I think it feels very good in the hand. I think that's what makes the ergonomics that much better. You've got, I think, a nice width here. Um, let's start out with just some links, then we'll get our thicknesses. So, guys, tail of the tape, the best I can measure it's going to be just a tiny bit over 7 inches. Maybe 7 and a 16th or 7 and a 32nd, I don't know. The blade's going to be, we're going to call that 3 inches with a right under 3 inch cutting area. The grip that I use, and I'm going to call this an inside grip, very comfortably 3 and 3 quarters. So it's almost 4, but we can call it 3 and 3 quarters from right here to right here, right? So to me, that is the grip that you are going to be working with. Again, right there, you can see it almost goes to four. I'm calling it three and three quarters. If you move it back, let your pinky fly, you're looking at about four and a quarter. But again, deep carry clip. Um, one thing that I don't quite understand, I'm not gonna call it a negative, because I'm right-handed, um, but on an ambidextrous knife, operate both right and left-handed. I think it would be nice if they'd made a little plate on this opposing side here um, so that the clip could be switched, right? I know, what is that only 10%, but those 10% are knife dudes and dudettes too. And I'd love to see it have a reversible clip. However, in my personal carry, that doesn't make a huge difference, but it should be pointed out. And I know a lot of left-handers like my buddy Kevin, Lefty EDC, carries right-handed knives, but I know he would appreciate that. So I think if future versions maybe look at doing a reversible clip, that would be the only kind of feedback that I would give because the detent to me for a river lock, bar lock, axis style lock is absolutely perfect. I think the grip for me and the size of this knife, because I prefer a smaller carry, is absolutely perfect. I think this is a knife that was designed right up my alley. Um, if we were going to compare this blade stock, let's do a couple of things real quick and then we'll measure it. We'll weigh it and get out of here because I don't want to waste too much of your time. But let's look at our Benchmade thickness. So our Benchmade bug out, this is the 20 CV version, comes in at 0.0910. Very thin stock. 
Now my TRMs are also very, very thin stock. This is my neutron. It comes in at 0 0.0900, even a little thinner. Super, super thin. So if we look at our shadow, it's going to come in at 0 0.0920, right? So when we take our bulldog, point one one eight five. So a considerable jump in blaze stock, right? Point one two oh five, and then our behind the edge thickness, which I'm not good at getting, but I'll do my very best. Point oh two oh five, something like that, and then our handle thickness, which to me is so comfortable and seems so right is right under half an inch at 0.4585. So we've got about a three inch blade on a little bit over seven inch knife. Let's see what this little chunk weighs. 3.5 ounces. To me guys, it may not be exactly an inch and ounce, but it's well within what I would think would be a very comfortable carry following those parameters, if you want to call them that. This is the TRM Bulldog. Um, take a look at the site. I'll put a link, just a regular link, um, into the description that'll take you to the Bulldog site. I think these drop, the first drop is September 10th. Um, and you check the prices there. There's one price. I think it's priced very reasonably for a USA made folder. I think it's a winner. Um, check your hand. See how you carry. Um, look at it. Compared to some knives. I don't have a pair of three. Because for some reason, I'm not a fan. I had one, traded it. But just to try to give you all some... What could it be likes? We'll look at it next to these knives and we'll throw our Civivi baby banner up there for good measure so you can see kind of when it falls in that hierarchy of knives but guys I love it I think it's a fantastic knife yes it was sent to me I buy every TRM knife up to this point this one in the red line fixie which they also had sent to me um, and I'm very grateful but I love the knives I think it's a fantastic knife and I can re highly recommend it. If you're looking for a USA made, small to medium folder, crafted out of Magna Cut, heat treated perfectly, perfectly done, in my opinion, fit, finish, materials are top notch, USA sourced. The only material they don't source from the USA is carbon fiber, which they list on the website, comes from Lithuania. This doesn't have carbon fiber. This is a USA made knife. I stand behind it. I really stand behind TRM, and I have, and they've been my favorite knife company ever since I've been in the knife game. Um, when I started getting involved in different situations where we were looking for help from companies to do fundraisers for a brother or for knife rights or the people who would be the most willing and then to find out through other channels, things that they've done just to individual community members to help them, to me, is just baffling. And then having the pleasure to meet Marianne and Lee um, and their team on multiple occasions, I can say that you can't go wrong with a TRM knife. Fantastic people. They're dog people. That's a huge win. They're knife people. Uh, they were supplying the knife industry before they just started making their knives. And their... Uh, Customer service is impeccable. Guys, this is the TRM Bulldog. I'm Javon. I appreciate you taking the time. All I ask ever is please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. And always choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.